we're back today done some digging my camera kind of messed up I'm not sure if we got all this on here we're gonna try to get this job finished up as you can see we uh, poured this small concrete pad it's about two inches thick I uh, got a little bit of dirt on it we'll clean that off and what we'll do once I get this cleaned off we'll put the D box which is over here uh, on top of it make sure that everything is level and then we're going to use the transit which I have laying right there and there's a D box on the other side of this mobile home and uh, we're going to make sure that the outlet of that D box and the inlet of this D box is uh, level I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that right, here's your other D box Got a lot of digging to do right here. Okay, before I can set this on grade, I wanted to find a, a pipe to go in it. Right here is a spot to cut, but we actually go to the outer edge right here. You can see this, this edge right here. That right there is the size of a Schedule 40 PVC 4 inch pipe. Now this kind of shows you if you had 2 inch, 3 inch, and 4 inch. Now if you notice the 4 inch is on this inside, that's not 4 inch for Schedule 40. Everything fits real good and tight. Nothing moves. That that laser on that transit, it will shine into this uh, receiver right here. And when it's level, when it hits the mark that we want it on, which would be right here on this line, it's a light up blue. If it's above this line, this will light up telling you it needs to go down. If it's below it, this bottom will light up and let you know it needs to go back up. So I have this on here loose. It'll slide right now. And we're just going to find out roughly where it's going to go for right now. And then I'll start tightening it down and working with it some. Okay, we're getting close. Laser is probably in the top half of that receiver. What well, is in the top half? Let's keep going down. Oh, we're down a little too far. We're at about ten and a quarter right there. So this is my test pipe I just took it out of that D box and we're gonna come over here and clean off this concrete pad and set that D box on it and we'll check make sure everything is on grade if it's not we might have to add some concrete or hopefully not but take some out The first thing I'm going to do, just real quick, is check to see if it's level. We can see that the right side, it is a little bit higher. There we go. Going to come down on here. All right, guys, we're good. Turn this transit off. We got the two D boxes where they need to go. I'm going to put the receiver on the left side of the backhoe. This is how I know where to put this at on the backhoe. So we got to go two and a half inches deeper than what we are. Four foot, one and three quarter inches. What you have to do now is add two and a half inches. One, two, and a half. The tip is on the ground. I'm going to just set this on the ground with it. And I'm going to hold on to this, that way it doesn't move take it off the stick and then I'll show you where I tighten it up. So 
This is how I do it. Let's get, get down in that hole and get started. Has no patience, look at his face and in his eyes. He's been waiting, he's been way bound to the die. Always taking chances, all those conversations. Don't know they'll for make it, don't know why he even tries. Say, oh, I am a believer. Oh, don't know I'll be if I'm not free to take a lead. Oh, I am a believer. Oh, ground beneath my feet, but I don't flee because I believe. I'll stay down to the ground. Stay down to the ground. Stay down to the ground, 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 ground. Stay down to the dancing, 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 dancing. Got about seventy feet, Doug. This is a nine by seventy five is what i'm supposed to have so i have five more feet to go but uh i'm out of fuel so i'm gonna pick up some fuel uh, i also have to get the power pose ready it's always good to have your dirt real loose that way when your water hits it it will absorb it soak it up really good but personally i think it'll help the life of your system uh, some of this big stuff i'll get out which you'll see in the video i'll rake most of this to where it's level it is still a little bumpy in here but not that bad It's starting to rain on me, so I'm just gonna stop right here. You can tell what what I have got done. So I'm gonna leave this little bit right here open. I'm gonna finish tying this D box in to that D box over there on the other side of the mobile home. Uh, when I finish this project out here, the whole project should have nine mobile homes sitting on this two acre uh, flat piece of property. Water is included in the rent and Wi-Fi is also going to be included in the rent so we're going to have community Wi-Fi for each mobile home so guys I have decided that I'm going to buy three more infiltrator chambers and I'm going to uh, dig me out a little spot as if I'm putting a leech bed in and I'm going to cover it up, but uh, we're going to do a test with it. I'm going to run over that system with a backhoe. A lot of people say don't run over them, don't run over them. I just want to see how much strength these uh, chambers have. And, um, you know, just kind of see if it's, uh, you know, if it's really worth taking the risk of driving over it with a vehicle or, uh, or something, you know taking a tractor over it, piece of equipment to see uh, what the uh, integrity of the uh, chambers. I think it'll be a really interesting video. and I know I've always wondered, uh, I always wondered, you know, how, how much weight can they hold without break? That would probably be a good test for not only the chambers, but also a a rock system um, a gravel bed yeah just uh, let me know what you think about that I, I've ran all over this one so I'm also going to put a light back in here I don't even know if we'll be able to see all the way through 
just to see what happened while I ran over it. I was going to show you. Okay, once we set this D-box, uh, the way I usually do it is I take this section here with the elbow on it, and I'll level it. Once I get it leveled, then I'll come here, and I'll lay me down one chamber with the end cap. I'll go ahead and stick this pipe in the end cap and and uh, put it out here on the elbow. I'll put a level on it. And if this chamber needs to go up or down, I'll get it to where this pipe is level as well. Once this system right here is level, and I do the same for all three, and they're, they're all level, they're, they're gonna distribute evenly. Then what you wanna do is come off of the top of each end cap and just make sure you're level with your transit from there that way each each piece you put in you just throw your receiver up there and if it go you know and you can get it level right there just do all three of them like so all the way to the end or however your system is set up I think overall it took maybe two hours to put in 45 chambers and also uh, getting the D-box level with the uh, pipes going into the ladders.